a brief response to Stefan Molyneux's clickbait article on will immigration end in war. Personal opinion. I don't actually see how this will end in war. Maybe say if, oh, I don't know, a celebrity-based politician uses charisma over rationality to gain power by playing on the fears of the populace to isolate a group of minorities and label them all as the problem, in quotation marks, and then decide a reasonable policy would be to extradite these minorities out of the country to retain an imaginary concept that doesn't actually exist, which is in fact jingoistic nationalism, i.e. being from country X makes you great, not being brought up in country X makes you great. So yeah, that's a basic example I've interspersed most dictators of history with Trump, without actually having to change any of the words, but of course it turns out immigrants are Stefan's little Jewish minority. By the way, sorry, Godwin's argument doesn't apply here because it's actually the same analogy regarding the actual historical and psychological events that led up to Hitler's power. Fuck you. 99% of the people who report on illegal immigrants and have actual valid information, I might add, directly to the authorities will be immigrants themselves. To say that just being an immigrant makes you a rapist, murderer, criminal is borderline stupid. The people most trying to actually stop people being illegal immigrants are the legal immigrants Trump is trying to victimise. The people who enter the country are criminals before they enter. The problem is you have a mass exodus of people into another country. It is guaranteed you will find that statistically more people will get in that are unfavourable, either because they're uneducated, uncultured, or downright just want to murder people. That this happens is a failing of both having wars, which encourage rebel groups to use power gaps to fill them up with religious celacy like ISIS, and also the fact that in a very small part, immigration is underfunded and overburdened. Also, in part because human nature is paradoxically destined to try to help people, even when they know some evil might actually come of it. The greater good in this case, however, overthrows the potential risks. A utilitarian argument, if ever there was one. Again, the ironic thing here is Stefan agrees with me that ISIS is horrible, the events that led up to the war are horrible, but he goes one massive step further and decides Trump is suddenly this virtuous being that has the answer to everything, and that this answer is to be bigoted towards a group of people and pretend it's all some kind of fight against political correctness gone mad. It is a standard sales political technique, it works, but it's blindly obvious that Stefan does not see this. I'm sorry, whilst there is always a valid argument to be had about how immigration should be handled, and immigration laws are in fact necessary, I might add, Stefan takes a reasonable argument and once again dives headfirst into bullshit land, where he likes to hide with his small little views on the world, either because he actually believes the shit, or he knows it just gets him money. The scary thing is, I actually honestly think it's both. Immigration rarely stops terrorism. The best terrorists are actually people you would never suspect as being terrorists, i.e. scarily sane, educated people who have a family and children. Immigration stops basic criminality. Terrorism is determined people trying to hurt innocents, and they will change their tactics to whatever works. Example, 9-11. No one had considered people could actually do that before. Yes, there was intelligence reports on that, but as a general perception, it was considered an improbable event due to the amount of organisation and work required. Asylum is a completely different matter because it is also not an economic system, it is a humanitarian one. Stefan constantly confuses these two and barely even recognises the difference. Asylum is intended for people who will die if they go back to their home country due to persecution. Immigration is so people can come across and earn money through skill sets. Yet the reasons why we have the two seems to be exactly the same to Molyneux. Brief example. Stefan is a Canadian. Canadian criminals exist. Therefore, all Canadians are fucking criminals. Kind of obvious that's a contradiction. It's amusing that we can't discuss this topic without getting bogged down into this stupid extremist view that we have to resort to bigotry to think we're actually being civilised. Is there a problem with the large numbers of refugees coming into this country or en masse? Of course there is. But however, we always use this excuse as the political correctness gone mad. We instinctively want to view our prejudice as justifiable and we try and find a way to try and rationalise it, skipping over very obvious facts that really contradict that. There is nothing wrong with going to a middle ground statement and edging your way gradually up to a slightly more right wing position because that way you make less mistakes and are less likely to fall victim to bigotry along the way. Stefan, however, does not do this. Is there a problem with letting these people die of starvation because they want to work or just basically survive? 
Of course there is. But Stefan seems to think that the world works only on what we see and not what our actions prevent from actually happening, i.e. taking an action, causing a much more beneficial view than what would have happened otherwise. However, we do not see the action of the least beneficial view because it never happens, i.e. World War Three. Of course it's more beneficial to avoid World War Three, but we don't have to actually see it take place in order to know it's the worst decision to make by promoting it. We could have taken lessons, rational lessons from the Germany incident. Instead, we have this fuckwit from Infowars ranting on constantly about how Germany has become a cesspool of rape and violence. In much the same way, of course, that any city becomes a cesspool of drunken happiness and New Year's celebrations literally every day of the year. Oh wait, wait, my mistake, that doesn't actually happen because of basic probability. Simple spikes in certain events will cause extremist events. The event in Germany was a triggered point for a particular unfortunate circumstances and set of events. It is unlikely to happen all the time, it does however happen some of the time. We could talk about police preparations or other things. We could talk about strategies over how or even if we could deal with a large number of people coming in all at once, or whether they could even be policed. But instead we just jump on prejudice once again and assume that surely it must be such a way this, as opposed to reasoning it out along the long hard path of actually careful, considered, critical thought. This video is just another fucking circle jerk by our resident Stefan wanting to talk about what he has already decided to be true. That Trump isn't a 21st century Hitler wannabe and that immigrants all need kicking out. Yet again, he demonstrates his complete lack of objective, middle ground, pragmatic thinking because he seems to know that reasoned, well thought out argument is both difficult to do on a daily basis. I mean, how many fucking videos does this guy churn out? And requires a lack of fervor and passion, which is unfortunate, but is also true. Often, when making a good, reasoned argument, we have to put our passion aside. Of course, we have passionate views on certain issues, and if those are rational, we can then be passionate about them. And equally, there's nothing wrong with passion in a general day-to-day -day issue, but obviously these are complex issues, and we have to be aware of that and accommodate for such. Thank you for listening.